Netupat. The periodic table is not just a chart of elements, it's a cosmic dance floor. Each element finds its place in this grand waltz based on the quantum behavior of its tiniest dancers, electrons. Imagine electrons not as simple particles, but as waves swirling around the nucleus. These waves, called orbitals, dictate how elements interact and form the molecules that make up our universe. The shape and energy of these orbitals are determined by the laws of quantum mechanics. These laws are strange and counterintuitive. They govern the microscopic world, a realm where energy comes in discrete packets and particles can be in multiple states at once. Understanding these quantum rules is key to unlocking the secrets of the periodic table. It allows us to predict an element's properties, its reactivity, and how it will bond with other elements. It's a journey into the heart of matter itself. Let's start our journey with the simplest atom, hydrogen. It has just one proton and one electron. This lone electron occupies the lowest energy level, called the s orbital. The s orbital is spherical, like a fuzzy cloud surrounding the nucleus. Helium, the next element on the periodic table, has two protons and two electrons. Both electrons in helium also occupy the s orbital. However, they spin in opposite directions. This is due to the Pauli exclusion principle. It states that no two electrons in an atom can have um, the same quantum state. The s orbital, with its simple spherical shape, represents the most basic building block of the periodic table. As we move beyond helium, electrons start to occupy more complex orbitals, leading to a richer tapestry of elements. Lithium, with three electrons, introduces us to the p orbital. The p orbital has a dumbbell shape, with two lobes on opposite sides of the nucleus. There are three p orbitals, oriented along the x, y, and z axis. Beryllium, with four electrons, fills the s orbital of the second energy level. Boron, with five electrons, places its fifth electron in a p orbital. As we progress through the periodic table, we encounter d and f orbitals. These orbitals have even more complex shapes with multiple lobes. The d orbitals first appear in the transition metals, while the f orbitals are found in the lanthanides and actinides. The increasing complexity of these orbitals explains the arrangement of elements in the periodic table, elements in the same group or vertical column have similar chemical properties uh, because they have the same number of valence electrons or electrons in the outermost shell. The arrangement of electrons and orbitals is not arbitrary. It is governed by a delicate balance of forces and quantum rules. The negatively charged electrons are attracted to the positively charged nucleus. This electrical attraction pulls the electrons closer to the nucleus. However, electrons also possess kinetic energy. This energy causes them uh, to resist being confined to a small space. The balance between these opposing forces, along with the constraints imposed by quantum mechanics, determines the size and shape of the orbitals. Furthermore, in multi-electron atoms, the electrons interact with each other. These interactions, combined with the spin of each electron, further influence the energy levels of the orbitals. This complex interplay of forces and quantum rules creates the symphony of elements we see in the periodic table. The periodic table is not just a chart. It is a testament to the power of quantum mechanics. It showcases the elegant dance of electrons within atoms, a dance that dictates the properties of all matter in the universe.